My first impression of Andrew was that he came to campus ready to accomplish a lot. The first impression of Andrew was that he was the quintessential prep school guy, right? I mean, he, he just looked as if he was just right. He was so charming and welcoming and kind. And right from the beginning I knew he was a guy that wasn't going to sit on his hands. He was, a, he was an action-oriented guy and um, I just thought that this was someone who's going to do something and move an organization forward and I was excited about that. So from the very beginning I just thought he was charismatic and uh, heart charging. My first impression of Mr. Mankey was that he was just an obvious leader. His presence in a room, the way he greets people, the way he shakes your hand at the front door of school meeting, you just know he knows what he's doing and um, it's going to be good. Well, I, I first met Andrew in the admissions office and my daughter was applying uh, as a freshman and he came in to say hello. And when I met Andrew, I thought, nobody could be this perfect. Nobody's that nice, nobody's that welcoming, nobody's that gracious. All of those things proved to be true. In my mind, the, the search was over as soon as I met Andrew. Hello from New Hampton School. My name is Andrew Minkin. I'm the headmaster here. It's to me, our responsibility in the communities in which we live. The buzz on the street was that New Hampton was changing and coming back as a new faculty member and alum. Um, at the time I didn't know what change meant, so when I came back to campus and visited, I saw it was a lot of positive change, right? He was starting to uh, bring in faculty that really had some care and had some new ideas to, to try out in the classrooms. So when people were saying, what's changing, what's changing? Well, the community didn't really change, but the feel for environment where students want to learn and be cared for and be pushed and motivated, that part I think has changed. When he said, we're going to become a nationally known innovator, my eyes bugged out of my head. I'm like, what? <laughs> Who's doing that? How are, we going, how are we going to do that? The next thing I knew, we were running a pilot program for one-to-one -one iPads. We were researching becoming an international baccalaureate program school. And suddenly our administrators were being invited to present at national conferences to explain what we were doing and how we were doing it. And I thought, all right, there you go. I'm a believer. Well, he cares about his students, about the 320-something students that are here. He knew my name when I walked in. I was very surprised. <laughs> he seems to love what he does, and he doesn't seem to be stopping anytime soon, which is fortunate that he's doing what he loves. It was as if we found a rudder for the ship. I would just say his presence on campus and during school meeting um, definitely brings one of security. But it's really been Andrew's leadership that has taken us to these great heights that we've never experienced before in Hampton. If Andrew retired tomorrow, he could feel very good about what his impact has been to independent education. Um, and I think that New Hampton's ripple effect, and his ripple effect in essence, is going to go on for a long time. It's not as tangible as, you know, a new building or the turf field. You know, there are a lot of very impressive very clear um, achievements that he's had, but a less tangible one I think is really the way that he has helped to bring our community to a place of um, having a lot of pride in New Hampton School and wanting to work hard for um, this community.